for example, Rio Tinto, um, which is nearby to us, about 100 kilometers away, they would be starting an operation soon that likely could have gone a classic evaporation process, but they decided... Talking with him here with NOA and Taj out of Argentina, and my next question is along brine. Could you share a bit of the details of what the brine operation actually looks like and what measurements you put in place to increase the ESG score, increase the, or decrease the impact on the environment? Yeah, there's two major uh, methods of producing um, lithium concentrates from lithium brine in, in, in South America. Uh, one is the classic evaporation process where you extract the lithium brine to surface and put it into a series of evaporation ponds where you successively increase the amount of lithium from pond to pond. And again, this part of the world, it's very unique uh, because of the, the climate conditions, uh, the high elevation, the arid environment, high evaporation rates, the, the solar, you know, the sunlight and the heat that's around really um, do the work for you, if you will. You really have to pull the lithium brine up and then really the climate does a lot of the work for you. So from an ESG point, you're actually using much, much less electricity compared to other processes. So that's the classic evaporation process. It usually needs lithium brines kind of of a grade of 350, 400 milligrams per liter of lithium and more. For some of the lower grade lithium um, kind of brine deposits are being looked at now, and the process they're looking at for that is called DLE, direct lithium extraction. That's a much faster process, doesn't require months, but it, it, it is there's a higher cost. An operating cost is higher, um, you know, there's a capital cost associated with, with kind of uh, novel technologies, chemical processes, um, but both of them have their kind of pros and cons. A lot of companies are now looking at using the DLE process for brines because the footprint is much smaller, um, but, you know, honestly, still at this time, uh, the most uh, the most relevant and, and most used process is the classic evaporation process and it is in the world it is considered the highest margin process for producing lithium concentrates i have a quick follow-up question on that one do you think that that might shift in the future where new extraction technologies like dle might take over because the, uh, the cost decrease over time and um, so do you think there will be a shift over time with esg standards in mind i, I think so yes i think definitely as the the process of DLE um, becomes more used, you know, they're gonna get some efficiencies and be able to lower the cost, definitely. I don't really think, just from a cost point of view, that uh, an operating cost point of view, it will compete with the classic evaporation process, because really, <laughs> you're the, you know, the natural environment is doing the work for you. But what I do think is some of the companies may be willing to take a little bit of extra operating costs on in order to have a very good ESG um, kind of look of the company. For example, Rio Tinto, um, which is nearby to us, about 100 kilometers away, they would be starting an operation soon that likely could have gone a classic evaporation process, but they decided to use a DLE process to keep their footprint small, to have kind of a good ESG look again on the operation. So for pure cost, I don't think it can get there, but I think it will get come lower uh, and, and be able to compete. And I think a lot of companies will make the decision to get that kind of ESG stamp of approval by having a smaller footprint with DLE.